What's up, people? Just finished watching that Man United versus Southampton at Old Trafford, and we've drawn once again. <clears throat> I cannot believe it. Nathan Ellington here, as always. As you know, I'm on my own today. But you know what? It doesn't take away from what's just happened here. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I've done an exact carbon copy of what's happened recently. Last three games of carbon copies. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You know, I'm watching this game. And I'm thinking we've started off bright again. We're looking too superior to this team. And we get chances. We get chances quickly. Good chances. We should go and score. We don't score. They go up the other end, nearly score. They're looking dangerous as well. Then we get our goal. Great ball through from Bruno. Down the side for Rashford. Rashford gets in. And he puts the ball in across the box. <clears throat> and Sancho slots it in for his first goal at home. At Old Trafford in the league. Very, very happy with that. We are out working them. We are counter-attacking them. We're looking the better team with the most control of the game. And then all of a sudden, I see all of the boys talking to each other. Calm it down, calm it down, stop moving the ball. Like they didn't want to keep that intensity up. I don't know why. Because whenever uh, Southampton got on the ball again, they started looking the better team. You know, unless we're counter-attacking, they actually look the better team. And, and created the better chances. If you look at that over over the 90 minutes, they created the better chances. I'm not happy. But anyway, you guys get your get your comments in. I'll be reading them out afterwards. But look, half time comes and I'm thinking we need to up the pace once again. The pace didn't get upped again. Um and like I said, Southampton was on the ball, opening us like open up opening us up like a can of beans. Once again, and um, I'm not going to mention any players until I go through the player ratings. But man, it's the same people again, same problems happening. Um, but look, it is what it is. It's a work in progress. We need to up that intensity and keep that intensity that level. And for 90 minutes, when we get to that level, we can then start putting away these teams. I knew we needed another goal. I just knew it. But anyway, let's get on to the player ratings. Guys, get your player ratings in. I will mention them afterwards. But um, let's start with the goalkeeper, as usual. David De Gea starts, does well. He's, he's the only player that's been ever present since Ragnick has actually joined, took over. And um, definitely deservedly so as well. Um, he was there to save us on a few occasions. Didn't spill the ball out when uh, I think I think it was Che Adams coming from the left and tried to curl it bottom corner. He saved it when someone else was pouncing to get the rebound. Um, he made a good save. I think it was an easy one for the keeper uh, when um, I think Pogba tried to clear it to one of their players and kind of scissored it. Um, and he, he made a little nice little camera uh, save. But um, to be honest, I think De Gea played well. He did all he can do. He did make no mistakes. And De Gea gets a seven for me. Um, on to centre backs. So we've got Maguire. Maguire, he looks shaky, mate. He look, he's looking shaky. Um, look, he did okay when he wasn't really, you know, called upon. And then again, there's too many times where he's getting beat far too far higher up the pit, pitch, and um, he's just getting. He just can't get back. He can't recover. I've seen Bailly do them kind of um, things where he gets beat, then he's back. He's back. That's what we need. We need players to be able to get back and he just can't do it. And look, he's having major trouble with, with Broya. Looks really good player, by the way. But he's having major, major trouble with him. You see him down the left. Took him. Come inside. He's put a leg out. He can't get there. It just makes United feel a bit, you know what I mean? He makes them look and feel... Like, just vulnerable. We look vulnerable. And I don't like that. Man United should never be vulnerable against Southampton. Against Southampton. We should be able to defend one-on-one -on -one and we'd be able to just mop up games like this. 1-0 if we have to. We should be able to do it. But Maguire, I'm sorry today. You get a five today. Because you was on for a six until you started getting torn. You was on for a six. Um, you did well to get back at that last one, but I think you're a little bit lucky as well because um, that could... I, know, I don't think it was a pen. I, I, I definitely don't think it was a pen. But yeah, Maguire, you're too shaky nowadays. You're too shaky. We need to get 
a Lindelof in for now, or and then Bailly when he gets back, or even a Phil Jones if he's fully fit from the last time he played and got hurt. So yeah, that's what I'd be looking at. Um, look, Paul James says needs to lose two Stone Maguire, hundred percent, very very slow. Um, you got Paul saying uh, I think that was to do with uh, De Gea getting a six. I think he got a seven uh, just because he, he he didn't put a foot wrong and he did okay. Um, then we look at Varane. I think Varane he was he was the normal Varane. Uh, didn't really do a lot that you can say wow. You know you get a seven, you get an eight, anything like that. Um, he did get paced once down the line. Um, it was good play. It was good play from the from the lad on the right. I think it's Broyer again. Uh, he used his pace really well. Um, so he looked good. I think Varane still didn't put a foot out of place. But I'm going with um, Varane getting a six um, for sure. Varane got a six for me. Um, you know, so so that's that. And Maguire, Steve says he he should have scored two. And to be honest, it's true that header. He seems to never header a ball like really hard. I, I like to see my defenders when they get their head on a ball, it gets smashed. You know, just like that Varane goal that was scored last week for uh, against Burnley. How nice was that header? Nice, clean, good power, right in the corner, lovely. Yeah. So that's that. So then we move on to the fullbacks. Delo. I think Delo was he's good in possession. He was okay. Um, defensively as well, p- applying the pressure. He's, he's been he, he's been pretty steady Eddie for a while now. Um, I would like to see more from him um, going forward. I think his crosses, I think one of his crosses, again, when he was called upon, you expect him to do better because he, we know he's got a good cross, but he just, he didn't really provide what we want. Um, I think he just needs some more games and hopefully it will it will start to improve. So I'm giving him a six as well. Um, definitely a six for him. Uh, let's take a look at the comments quickly. We've got Dalo. Okay, I like him. Six as well. Not bad, Paul. Copying me again. All right. Let's see. Let's see who's next. So we got Shaw. Luke Shaw comes next. Um, I don't think he played as well as he played in the last game. Um, but he still was quite quite solid. He did okay. Um, like I say, I want to see some more though. But I think. The reason why we didn't see more is because the game was slowed down by everybody. It's like we were trying to manage the game and pick our time when to go fast and when to go slow. And we forgot to go fast again, you know? So for me, sure, he could have been on to be a seven if he'd have done more. But I think he's also a six. I don't think he got more. He, he deserved more than a six. Let's see what they're saying. Agree, Paul. Um, at least he moved. <laughs> right. And uh, that's Steve. Um so then we move into the midfield zones. We're going with McTominay first, defensive midfield. You know what? I felt McTominay did okay. Um, for what we know what he can do, and he did that exactly how we, it's like uh, Ron Seal. He does what he says on the tin. He broke up play, passed the ball simple, and that's what you're really gonna get unless you see him get in the final third and get a shot off and maybe score a goal or two. But apart from that, you're not really gonna see much more than that. I think he's did his job well enough. Um, but like I say, unless he's getting a goal or an assist, he's not going to get more than a six for me. So today he got a six, um, definitely a six for me. Um, I've got Paul saying sure a five, Steve saying five, five sure. That's crazy. But anyway, no problem. Not far off. Not far off. Only one one number off. Not a problem. Then you go with Pogba. Now Pogba for me, he was the catalyst in the first half. And he was a difference maker. It's like when the ball goes into him, they're trying to pressure him. And he does a little bit of jink to get out of the trouble. And then he finds someone. He finds Sancho. He finds Rashford. He'll find Cristiano. That's what he did today. Without him, we wouldn't have had half the chances we've had. Imagine it was Fred and McTominay. We would have been just like games of the past where nothing really happens. We break up play, then we give it ball back to them. You know, so for me, Paul, you did really well. I'm going to give you a seven. Um, like I said, if it wasn't for you, a lot of things wouldn't happen today and we wouldn't get the attacks we get. So, yeah, I'm going with that. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's go with Pogba, my number seven for now. OK, then we move on to Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes, he started off quite bright. He played that ball through to Rashford, that ball down the right. Rashford gets on it, 
I played it into Sancho and Sancho scores. But um, I need to see more from you. I need to see more from you, Bruno. You were lively. You were running about. You did work hard. I've got to give you that. But I am going to give you a six just because I need more. I need more. I really do need more from you. So, yeah, Bruno Fernandes gets a six from me, you know. So we move on to Rashford. Comes to Rashford now. So I'm looking at Rashford. He's on the right. And he's missing something, isn't he? He's missing something. He just really, it's like he's thinking about his game too much. It's like he's deciding, right, I'm going to pull this trick out of the book today. Right, I'm going to do the flip-flap. Okay, stay, stay there, stay there. Flip-flap. It's like, it's all telegraphed at the moment. It's too much. And then he gets on the right and it's like, he doesn't want to use his pace down the right. It's like he can't use his, 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 his attributes when he's on the right. But then Sancho's playing so well on the left, you can't take him off the left. So what do we do right now with the limited players that we've got? I just play him right side and say, listen, just keep playing on the right and do whatever you can do at the moment. If we can get you in over the top, we get you in. Cross it in or take a shot. Just that's all I need you to do. Play in Dalo when he overlaps you. Don't just leave him to run past you all the time. Please start making the right decisions. He's crossing balls in when it was not worth it. His, his delivery was getting cut out by the first man. He was making the wrong decisions too many times. Again, yeah, I know he set up the goal. That's why I'm going to give him this result. But seriously, you need to pick it up, Rash. Rashi, you really need to pick it up. You're getting a six from me. You're getting a six. Should have done a lot better. Let's take a look at the the, um, the comments. We've got Rashford looks like he don't want to be here. You see? And why did we sell Marshall? We didn't sell him, but we loaned him. And exactly what I was thinking today. Why did we let Marshall go? Now we've got nobody. Well, I think, uh, uh, well, we should have known that Cavani is not going to be fit every week. Like, why, why is he not in the squad this week? He played last game and he's just not involved at all. So does he need a whole week off? Because he's, you know, when every time he plays, probably does. He's getting, he is getting on. Cristiano's looking that way too anyway, by the way. So when it comes to Sancho, Jaden Sancho, another bright spark. One of the few bright sparks that really played a little bit better than, you know, than, than, than most of the team. Again, on the ball, looking dangerous. Everything was looking like something was going to come from him and Pogba. Um, and, and, and he didn't disappoint. He got his goal. He done well. But like I said, we slowed down the game far too much. We slowed down this game far, far too much. And we couldn't get going again. And Southampton took the impetus off us. When we're 1-0 up, we've got to know to go for two and three. Not Sancho's fault. I think he did well every time he got on it. If, if you look at his body of work today... He was dangerous. He put people in. He got Cristiano in. He scored his goal. He was looking dangerous a lot of the time. Seven for me. You know he deserves a seven. Let's see what they got to say. We look so unfit. That's what I mean. It's not even... That's what I mean. I do look at it and think, ooh, you know. Steve, well done, Steve. Copying me again. Sancho was on it. Was on it. He was on a seven. Right, so... When it, you know, when it says we look, when you say, Bobby, you say, we obviously, we looked unfit. It's one of them things where we do need to get to that fitness level. Them other, the other team is looking sharp and they don't even look tired and out of breath. The ball went out of play and I'm looking at Walker Peters just like, it's like, he's fine. And he's running up and down like mad. And, 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 and Shaw's looking like, uh-oh, he might, you know, he might pull something here, running back that far. He looks knackered. You're right. You're right, but it's one of them things I think we just need to carry on through this season and get the right players in. I think that's what's going to make a difference for us. Right, on to Rashford. Uh, Rashford. Ronaldo, listen. Listen clearly to what I'm going to say. Ronaldo, it may be time. It may be time to sit down. No, you can't really sit down at the moment because there's no one to come in for you. But seriously... He's looking tired now at the moment. He's looking very tired at the moment. I didn't want to say this about him. I thought it, you know, at least get to the end of the season before he starts looking tired. But seriously, he's getting some nice balls as well. And he's just not being able to do anything with him. I don't get it. I don't understand. He can't be low on confidence. I just think he's just now 
Father Time really is catching up on him. And he's not able to really produce that level that, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But at the moment, it's game after game at the moment where he's looking like, man, I don't want to say it. But he's looking like he's tired, mate. He's looking like he's tired. He's not playing well. Ball's coming into him, getting battered, losing it every time, trying to do a skill, can't do it. Gets a chance, not really able to get power behind it. I don't know. I just don't know. He's getting a five for me today. He didn't do well enough for me. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Um, so that's the most of the team. Um, and then we had our subs, you know. Lack of mobility, Bobby. Lack of mobility. That's what it is. When you've got Maguire and you had McTom- uh, McTominay, it is a bit immobile. You know, players, you can see, just running rings around us at times. And um, I think if we had a Bailly in there, like I said, that just doesn't happen. I think Bailly just sweeps these things up. You might get the odd mistake from something else, but seriously, Bailly sweeps all this up and we never even have these kind of problems, I swear. And then if we get like, like I say, if we get a Rice in there, he's not really obviously the most mobile, like, you know, it's not like the guy who's known for his mobility, but the quality of controlling the game, if we can get like a Rice in there next year, I'll be so, so happy you don't understand. So Paul James says something is not right with Rashford. You're damn right. Something's not right with Rashford. He's just not playing like he used to. He, he, He used to be free as a bird, ripping it down the lines, you know, just not thinking and getting the job done. Look, the boys that came on, Elanga gets a five, Lingard gets a five. They didn't do nothing. Nothing really happened from them. And the game peters out as usual. And I'm now game over. And I'm sitting here like, when's the next game? I'm, I'm, I'm so disappointed that I've got to wait till Tuesday now for another game for Man United. And we're going to play the same team. And the same subs will probably come on because we've got no options left. We've got nothing left. Paul, you're damn right I'd play Mata. This guy is an intricacy king. He's an intricacy king. And if he gets a chance, he is finishing. And he will put things on a plate for these boys. He will put things on a plate. I'd love to see him get involved again. Um, I want to see uh, Hannibal. I want to see Hannibal come involved now. You know, But the thing is, he's probably not going to play while these games are so tight, like one all. And, you know, everyone's getting boo- booing up the place. And so we, we need... Um, you know, we need to get a, a nice little cushion. Like we did, like I thought we did against Burnley. We played so well against Burnley. First uh, first half an hour, first 45 minutes. It was like, man, we didn't, you know, that wasn't a goal. But no problem, we'll get a goal. Bang. Okay, that's not a goal. No problem, we'll get. And then we score. It's like, it was, it was lovely to see. Even today, it was open football. But we shouldn't be, be open to Southampton. That's why every team we're playing, no matter where they are in the league, we're sitting there, we're saying, you know what? I don't know if we're going to win this. I don't know if we can win this. Because we're going to tire. We're first half FC, as Alex said uh, on Thursday. We currently are first half FC. We need to fix that. We need to change it. We need to do something. Um, got Max Collins saying we won't make fourth. It's looking very, very bleak now, isn't it? But the other teams are probably going to be the same as us. They're going to drop points where you expect them to get wins. They're going to get a draw. They're going to lose games when you expect them to win. It's just what happens at this level. So I know it's going to go all the way to the wire. It's still tight right now. I think West Ham, we were one point behind them with a game in hand. Now we're the same points with a game in hand or two points behind. I don't know. But it ain't that far. All we need is to go on a run of winning a couple games. And then we're into four. So, uh, and that's where it is. So, anyway, where is Alex? I think they're on the, the Thursday show. That's the Man United show on the Thursdays. This is obviously the, the obviously the review of the game. And then we, we, we usually have the preview of the game as well. So, the Man United show Thursdays at 8 o'clock every single week. And we have Alex and we have Dale on every single week. So, that will be lovely to get their opinions on what happened today. Alex was at the game today. I think Dale was too. So, they're going to be seeing it firsthand. I saw it on the TV, but yeah, it is, it's, um, it's good to get a viewpoint from a few different people and people who are all, um, at the game as well. So yeah, it's, it's lovely. It's, uh, things are changing. Things are looking really good here at um, the Man United show. And I uh, just want to, you know, thank you guys for your support, your continued support. 
continue sharing and liking. You know what? It's a Man United show on YouTube. I think um, we've got it on KS1 TV. Um, my YouTube channel, Nathan Ellington, as well. It's all there. You just need to subscribe to one of those and you will see us on there. But for now, guys, the next game, Brighton. Very, very tough game. Very, very tough game. Just like today. But we can make it as hard or as easy as we want to if we just apply ourselves right. I think we will beat them if we apply ourselves for 90 minutes and we don't try and slow things down. I know we've got it in us. We've got it in us. We've got to get the job done. So, yeah, Bobby, <laughs> great start to the weekend. I know. The early kickoff Saturday, and now we've just got to wait till, you know, next week. But, you know, it is what it is. United in progress, and once again, construction site again. You know, we're Man United through and through. We're Man United till we die. We keep going. We keep going. We keep going. We can talk about the ups, the downs, whenever they happen. But we still stick behind our boys. That's what I do, you know. I don't care what happens. I still always stick behind them. So, yeah, um, have to beat Brighton, uh, Paul James says. Bobby says, um, big team changes needed. But who? Who have we really got? I want to see Lingard get some extended minutes, to be fair. And that's one thing. I don't want to see Alanga come on again and not, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit too late for him. Like, he never really gets to do anything anyway. But I wouldn't mind seeing Lingard do what he's done for West Ham for us, you know. Please, just give him a chance now. Like, can't just keep going down the same route and doing the same thing. So, yeah. But anyway, it's almost over, guys. With that being said, I want to love you and leave you. I want to say, uh, let me see if I can find, you know, I've got to take a leaf out of Kieran's book here. There we are. Right, so, see you guys on Tuesday. Um, also, Monday for the preview. And then Tuesday after the game, it'll be 10 o'clock. Uh, so, yeah, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys next week.